there's a big movement that's international and uh, one of the things that we're learning is the people in the workforce today they uh, they tend to want to be valued and felt like they belong and are respected especially the younger generation it's really important that we as business people learn to value those that are below us those that are above us and sideways um, and, and just value them and treat them like um, kind of like what we want to be treated one of the reasons why people generally won't value is because they think that it's a sign of weakness. If I have a weakness and I project that to my employees, then I'm not going to have the dominance that I would. And the reality of it is, is you're not going to have the influence that you need to have in those times when your team is in trouble. Um, when they, you know, you might need help on a project and you need a lot of people to get involved. Well, if you don't have that valuing history with them, it's very difficult to get them to go above and beyond for their job. And so we deal a lot with how to value, make other people feel like they're welcome, everywhere from new employees uh, to employees that have been around for a while. It's very important for leaders and managers. Um, some of the things that you can do with valuing is uh, you can, you know, generally in the room I'll, I'll go around and, and do high fives with people. And when you give someone a high five, um, they smile. It's just natural. When somebody does a good job for you or they do something that you want to recognize, something as simple as that. Um, there are so many techniques, so many free things that you can do. They don't cost you anything, but they build value in your employee. Um, we talk about um, emails, sending a thank you email in the bottom of the email after you thank them for everything they've done. Then you just carbon copy and the carbon copy goes to your boss and to your boss's boss. So when that employee receives that, they look at it and they say, wow, not only did they um, give me a thank you and tell it to me personally, but now they've told their boss and the boss's boss. So it's really important and there are lists you can get of, of ways to to low cost, no cost valuing. But what you gain from that is um, a harmonious workplace. So you get people that, that are a team, there's synergy from that team because they know they can depend on each other. They know that they're appreciated. Um, you also get uh, uh, employees buy-in. They'll buy into your ideas and buy into your principles and the things you're trying to teach them. If they feel like they belong, if they feel like you really want them there, that you care. Um, there's an old expression that's used so many times and it says people don't care what you know till they know that you care. You have to do that with your employees. And if you will value your employees and you will treat them with respect, um, you'll find a far greater amount of people will do what it takes to get the job done. You'll increase productivity. Um, you'll increase continuity within your team. And it'll just be a more enjoyable workplace. So the next time uh, you're thinking about the next latest, greatest craze in leadership, think about valuing your employees.